John Lynn. And I think we can all relate to this theme of feeling the sword of Damocles hanging over us. And then it's very easy to step it out from there to people who are far worse off at the moment than we are. And I say at the moment, because if the soul is eternal, we've experienced everything and we will experience everything. And, you know, we've been good guys, bad guys, um, various animal, uh, all kinds of animals and everything else. So from that point of view, let's begin. And as ever, we'll begin with ourselves so that we can ground in our hearts, in our own feeling and our own compassion for ourselves. So the way I like to envision this is um, my small suffering self, I tuck that inside my heart and my heart can surround that um, suffering one. And of course, out of my compassion, I don't want that one to suffer. And so I breathe in the suffering in the form of dense, thick, heavy clouds, like storm clouds. <clears throat> And then sending on the exhale, the bright, spacious, billowing clouds of compassion and good wishes for this suffering one to be free of that suffering, that worry, that isolation, all the limits, all the fears. Breathe them in again with your compassionate heart. That's a doorway to the great ocean. And from that great joyous ocean, the exhalation comes bearing joy, compassion, all things good. And another breath. And perhaps part of what the ocean can offer is this powerful knowing that no matter what happens to this little wave, it's also the ocean, the whole ocean. And so the very essence of well being. And so we breathe again. Now we think of somebody we love <clears throat> and we easily feel compassion for. They have no doubt felt a similar suffering. And out of our love for them, we don't want them to suffer. We want to take that away and replace it with temporary and permanent joy, ultimate joy. And so we breathe in the suffering first, right into our hearts, which are like doorways to the great ocean of awareness. Seeing those dense clouds, feeling them passing through, passing out of our loved one, through into the ocean, and then on the exhale, the great, spacious, glowing clouds. Sinking into them. 
and their pinched face begins to soften and open. We breathe again. Seeing their face now beaming with joy. And now we think of another who we love. And we feel compassion for them too, because they have suffered similarly. And so we want to take that suffering away, of course, and replace it with happiness. And so we breathe for them. Let's breathe for everyone in our circle, whatever your circle is, those who are close to you. Imagine <clears throat> those dense clouds coming in from various directions. We don't want any of them to suffer, so we take it away. And send out joy and happiness now and always. See their faces change. We know that everyone in this group has been feeling similarly, and we don't want any one of us to suffer this. And so we take it away with the in-breath into our hearts. And through our compassionate hearts, send out those joyous clouds soaking into each and every one of this group. And we know that this is making a difference on inner levels. So we breathe again. Now let's think of everyone in North America who has been <clears throat> sitting under this sword of Damocles and probably knows people who have been sick or died. Have, we've all been afraid for ourselves as well. And so we breathe for everyone in North America. For the isolation, for the financial fears, all of it. Taking in the suffering, not so much the story, just the suffering in the form of those dense storm clouds coming in from all directions. 
and breathing out in all directions. Wellness and freedom from fear. The feeling of joy of resting in the great ocean of awareness. The reality of that. And now we think about everyone in Central and South America. Where in some countries, it's really scary right now. And in some cases, the thing that people have feared is actually coming to pass. People getting sick some getting very sick, some dying, many losing loved ones. We breathe for all of them. Remember to keep the exhalations as strong and long and powerful as the inhalations. What we can send them is exactly the best thing in this moment. So that no matter what happens, they feel their being ocean and the joy of that, the feeling of deep connection, of deep well being. Yes, even in that situation, underneath the terrible suffering on the surface, may they feel the joy. For example, in death, joining with the ocean. And so strong breaths in and strong breaths sending out. And then we turn our attentions to the largest continent, Africa, and all of the millions and millions of people in many countries. Who have been suffering from all of these things as well. We breathe for all of them. Deep breaths in and equally deep breaths out. Dong Len means taking and sending. And seeing them, their faces brighten and change to a smile <clears throat> amidst it all.
And we breathe for Europe, everyone there. And focusing next, particularly on India. So everything that we've been feeling, they must be feeling only so much more, many times more. And we want to take all of that away. We breathe it in, not having it stick in our hearts, but pass through into the great vast ocean of awareness, our source. And on the exhale, from that vast, powerful source, we send out bright, glowing clouds. So many of them, so huge. Soaking into all and everyone throughout India. giving them that experience of joy, relief from suffering. And we want so much for it to be not just a moment, but ongoing. That's what we send. And then the Middle East, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, everyone else. Now we imagine the whole earth, all people. We breathe for everyone. Sending out those spacious glowing clouds to all and everyone. <clears throat> and again, imagining everyone's faces brightening and changing to a smile. Please write down how you feel right now. <clears throat> 